Good morning, everyone. So for today, we're going to discuss all about Module 2 of Science 7, Quarter 2, First Part. Life through the lens. And this is your science teacher, Sir Topper. Okay, before we start, let us have our prayer. Loving Father, I stand before you in the midst of confusion and complexities of life. My future sometimes seems distant and unknown. Give me, O Lord, the vision to see the path you set before me. Grant me the courage to follow your way, that through the gifts and talents you have given me, I may bring your life and your love to others. I ask this through Jesus, your Son. Amen. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, everyone. For today, we're going to discuss all about microscopy. What is this? So, before that, we have the most essential learning competency. Focus specimens using the compound microscope. Okay, this module is divided into two lessons. We have lesson one for today, microscopy, and lesson two for the next day, the magnification process. After going through this module, you are expected to Number 1. Focus specimens using the compound microscope Number 2. Compute the magnification of the specimen And number 3. Describe the proper ways of handling a microscope Okay, let's start What I need to know Hello, how are you? Have you ever wondered about the things that we cannot see? Take a look at your hands. It may look clean, but if we look at it under a device that could magnify tremendously, it actually contains a lot of microorganisms. This module will open your eyes to the things that you could not ever imagine. Life is pretty interesting, and at that microscopic scale, it can also be beautiful, strange, Intriguing, frightening, and gross. Be a scientist yourself. Let's work hand in hand as we find out the process on focusing and proper handling of microscope. So here we go. So before we have the lesson proper, let us have this. What I know, this is our review. So multiple choice. Using your class point. Let me read you the directions. Choose the best answer from the given choices or options and K in your answers in our class point up. Okay, so let's see. Okay. Okay, time is up. So let's see what is the answer. What is the answer? The correct answer is letter B. Place it in the lowest magnification. Okay, let's proceed with number two question. Okay, time is up. Let's see. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is letter C, microscope. Very good. Let's proceed with question number three.
Okay, time is up. Let's reveal the answer. The correct answer for this is letter C. It is called no space. Congratulations for those who got it right. Let's have number four question. Okay, so time is up. Let's have the correct answer. The correct answer is letter D. Fine adjustment. Okay, for number five question, let's have this. Okay, time is up. Let's reveal the answer. The correct answer is letter A. It is called ocular lens. Okay, so for next number, we have word cloud. So you need to use again the class code, which is 63963. So just write the word or words that satisfies the statement. Okay, let's have number six question. Okay, so what do you think is the answer? The answer is, you should not adjust the course adjustment. Very good, get it right. Let's have number seven. Okay, time is up. Let's reveal the answer. What do you think is the answer? It is called the revolving nose piece. Very good. Let's have number eight question. Okay, time is up. The answer for number eight is condenser lens. Okay, condenser lens. Number nine, question. Okay, time is up. The correct answer for number 9 is stage clip. Very good. Let's have number 10.
Okay, the correct answer for number 10 is it increases the image size. Congratulations for those who got it right. So let's proceed with this. What's in? In the previous lesson, you already learned how to identify the parts of microscope and their function. Each part of the microscope has its own function that is really important and essential to the microscope as a whole. Okay, let's have this one. So, this is called scrambled letters. So, directions listed below are parts of the microscope that are scrambled. Mix the letters to come up with the right answers. Write your answer on a she separate sheet of paper. Okay, so let's have number one. What do you think is for number one? Very good. That is called stage. How about number two? Very good. It is eyepiece. Number three? Yes, I can hear you. That's diaphragm. How about number four? Two words. This is called, very good, body tube. How about five? Three letters in one word. Very good. That is called arm. How about number six? Yes. Uh-huh. That's correct. It is nose piece. And number seven, the last one, it is called, yes, that's base. Congratulations for those who got it right. Let's proceed with this next okay so direction identify the words being described choose the answer from the box above okay supports the upper part of the microscope that's number one number two locate under the stage controls the amount of light allowed to pass through the object what is that small platform where the specimen is placed for evaluation what is that Holds objectives, lenses, and can be rotated. The bottom part of the microscope supports the entire microscope. What is that? Okay, time is up. So let's see. What do you think is the answer? For number one, it supports the upper part of the microscope. is called the arm. Very good. Located under the stage controls the amount of light allowed to pass through the object. That's called diaphragm. How about uh, the small platform where the specimen is placed for evaluation? And that is called stage. Very good. How about holds objective lenses and can be rotated? That is, revolving nose piece. And the last one, the bottom part of the microscope that supports the entire microscope. It is called the base. Very good. Let's proceed with this one. What's new? Hello there. You are already familiar with the parts and functions of microscope. Let's discover together how to focus specimen using the compound microscope. All we have to do is read and understand the context below to find these steps. Are you ready? Let's start. Okay, for number one activity, we're going to have this title, Newspaper Letter E. So you are allowed to have materials needed, newspaper, scissors, pencil, Glass slides, cover slides, water, dropper, and microscope. 
So here are the procedures. For letter A, cut out the letter E and place it on the slide face up. So this is it. This is it for letter A. For letter B, you add a drop of water to the slide. Okay, this is it. And letter C, place the lower or place the cover slip over the letter E and water at about 45 degree angle. This is it. And for letter D, lower slowly with a pencil to keep air bubbles out. So this is letter D. Okay, let's move on. Place the slide on the stage and view in the lower power. Center the E in the field of view. Carefully and slowly move the course adjustment knob until the image appears clear. Draw what you see. Move the slide to the left. What happens? Move the slide to the right. What happens? Move also the slide up and down and observe what happens to the image. And for number two, view the specimen in high power. Use the fine adjustment only to focus. This will keep the glass slides from breaking and the objective lens from scratching. Okay, for number three, these are the images before and after examining under the microscope. In your naked eye, it is like this. This is the actual letter E before putting it under the microscope. When you use the low power, this is the picture or the figure. This is an illustration of letter E shown using the low power objective. This slide was set up with the letter E in the correct orientation. Notice that it appears upside down when viewed under the microscope. And when we use the high power objective, this is the illustration. This is an illustration of letter E shown using high power objective. Notice that as you increase the power of the lens, your field of view gets smaller. Same with its orientation. If you move the slide to the left, the image goes right and vice versa. So can you follow? Remember this. Okay, these are the guide questions. Did the letter appear in the same orientation when viewed through the microscope? Mm -hmm. On number two, when you move the slide to the right, what direction does it appear to move under the microscope? And for number three, what happened to the image when you switch objectives? Okay, so we have the answers. For number one, the letter appears upside and upside down and backwards because of two sets of mirrors in the microscope. This means that the slide must be moved in the opposite direction that you want the image to move. For number two answer, the specimen that is right side up and facing right on the microscope slide will appear upside down and facing left. When viewed through the microscope and vice versa, Similarly, if the slide is moved left while looking through the microscope, it will appear move right and it move down, it will seem to move up. And for number three question, here is our answer. When you change from lower power to high power objectives on the microscope, the high power objective lens moves directly over the specimen and the low power objective lens rotates away from the specimen. This change alters the magnification of the specimen, the light intensity, the area of the field of view, the depth of field, working distance and resolution, and the image should remain in focus if the lenses are of high quality. Okay, so we have these answers. So let's have activity two. Activity two entitled Onion cells under the microscope, and we are given the materials needed. Onion, knife, forceps, paper towels, glass slides, cover slides, iodine solution, dropper, and microscope. These are the procedures. Set aside a clean microscope slide. Number two, carefully cut away a small, single-layered piece of onion, one to two centimeters wide. Peel the thin layer of skin or the membrane from the inside surface of your piece of onion. Forceps may help with this. 
The membrane looks a bit like a soft scotch tape and should separate relatively easily from the inside surface of the onion slice. Place section of membrane carefully on the microscope slide, trying to keep it as flat as possible. Apply a couple of drops of iodine solution to the section. Wait two minutes for the stain to develop before positioning a cover slip over the section. And place a slide first under scanning objective, then low power objective, and finally under high power objective and observe the onion cells. Note, be careful when focusing the microscope not to break the glass slide with the microscope lens. Remember that. Okay, so this is the picture and the low power. This is an illustration of an onion skin shown using low power objective. Notice that it is composed of rectangle like shapes with dots on some of it. This one. These rectangle shapes are plant cells, and the small dots are nucleus. Plant cells and nucleus. Plant cells are usually rectangular and animal cells are circular. Remember the difference. Plant and animal cells will be discussed further on the next module. Let us have this. When we use the high power, this is the illustration of onion skin shown on high power objective. The same with letter E. Activity that as you increase the power of the lens, your field of view gets smaller. The nucleus becomes more visible. By adding the stain of iodine solution, the image is clear and more visible than without. Look at this. So it's more bigger than this. So there's a difference between low power and high power objectives. And remember this. Let us discuss the parts of onion cells that are visible under the microscope. These are called cytoplasm. This one. These are jelly-like substance inside the cell where organelles are embedded. So, napapaloob doon yung organelles. Cell wall. So, this is the cell wall, the boundary. A rigid wall that surrounds and supports the cell. And the nucleus is that point or the mole there, the dot, the central part of most cells that contains genetic material. So, these three are the basic parts of that onion cell. Take note, it is a plant cell. Okay, directions. Draw the, and label the image of onion skin that you see in the microscope under low power objective and high power. So, so try to compare. So, that's your activity. Okay, so let's move on. How to focus a microscope? A microscope can help you observe things that you can see with the naked eye, such as bacteria. However, if you do not know how to focus your microscope correctly, you will be unable to view these objects. Getting the best focus on your microscope requires setting up properly. Focusing on your sample and magnifying the sample so that you can see it. Procedures Uncover the microscope, unwrap the cord, and plug it in or face the mirror in an area with enough light source. Number two, clean all glass surfaces with lens paper. Start with the eyepiece and then do the objectives, the substage mirror or illuminator, and end with the stage window. For number three, turn on the light or adjust the mirror so that the light shines through the stage window. Adjust the diaphragm under the stage so that the medium amount of light gets through. Adjust the fine focus knob to a middle position. For number four, place the slide on the stage with the slide clip holding down each side of the slide. Center the specimen on the slide over the stage window. Using the low power objective, focus with course adjustment. Start with objective as close to the slide as possible and focus away from the slide. And before turning to a higher power, make sure there is something worthwhile to look at and center the specimen in the middle of the field of view. 
without changing the focus adjustment change to the next highest objective the centered specimen should be in a view of should be almost in the focus now focus with the fine adjustment knob repeat step six and seven up to the highest power clean up return the low power objective before taking up the slide clean and dry the stage and objectives turn off the lights and wrap the cord neatly around the base of the microscope replace the cover so that's it guide questions so this is for you when the specimen is out of focus which part of the microscope should be turned to obtain a clearer image after switching from low power to high power what happens to the field of view and why is it important to start viewing from lower to high power objectives so it's up to you to answer this the answers with this guide questions are are in the previous slide okay so how to use microscope to observe specimen so this is the illustrated part for number one Put the table lamp in front of the microscope or adjust a mirror so that natural light is reflected through the stage window. This is it. Put the low power eyepiece into the microscope. Okay, this is it. Rotate the low power objective into the position. Do this. And look through the eyepiece. Adjust the mirror until you see the bright circle of light. Then place a slide on the stage and fix it with the clips. The specimen on the slide should be right above the whole of the stage. This one. Or the aperture. And look at the microscope from the side. Turn the course adjustment knob carefully to lower an objective until it is very close to the slide. This is it. And look through the eyepiece. Turn the course adjustment knob. To raise objective slowly until you can see the image of the specimen and turn the fine adjustment knob the smaller one to get the sharper image the image is now focused so these are the basic procedures okay so what's more wet mounting specimen so you're going to do this it's more an activity for students in a wet mount the specimen is placed in a drop of water or other liquid held between the slide and the cover slip by surface tension. This method is commonly used, for example, to view microscopic organisms that grow in pond water or other liquid media, especially when studying their movement and vapor. We all need slide, cover slip, water, dropper, tweezers, and specimen. So here are the procedures. Place a drop of water on the center of a dry slide using the tweezers place the specimen in the middle of the drop while holding the cover slip upright carefully place one edge of the cover slip next to the water slowly lower the upper edge of the cover slip onto the water the objective is minimize or eliminate air bubbles under the cover slip you might find it helpful to use one toothpick to hold the lower edge in place while using another to carefully lower the slip into place. An absorbent towel can be placed at the edge of the cover slip to draw out some of the water, further flattening the wet mount slide. So this is a guide question. Why would you want to wet mount the specimen? Answer this. Okay, so let's have this one. Read the paragraph carefully and identify the correct words that fit in the given sentences in the box below. Write your answers on a separate sheet of paper or please K in with our class code 63963.
Okay, time is up. So let's reveal the answer. For number one, we have the lens paper. Okay, for number two, objectives. Number three, we have diaphragm. And number four, the stage. And number five, the high power. And number six, the low power. So may I read? Uncover the microscope, unwrap the cord, and plug it on or face the mirror in the area with enough light source. Clean all gla glass surfaces with lens paper. Start with the eyepiece and do the objectives, substages, mirror, or illuminator, and end with the stage window. Turn on the light or adjust the mirror so that the light shines through the stage window. Adjust the diaphragm under the stage so that the medium amount of light gets through. Adjust the fine focus knobs to a middle position. Place the slide on the stage with the slide clip holding down each side of the slide. Center the specimen on the slide over the stage window. Using the low power objective first, focus with course adjustment. Start with objective as close to the slide as possible and focus away from the slide. Before turning to a high power objective, make sure that there is something worthwhile to look at the center, the specimen in the middle of the field. Without changing the focus adjustments, change to the next high, highest objective. The centered specimen should not be in view and should be almost in focus. Now focus with the fine adjustment up. Clean up, return low power objective before taking up the slide. Clean and dry the stage and objectives. Turn off the light and wrap the cord neatly around the base of the microscope. Replace the cover. So that's it. Okay, so what can I do? Microscope is one of the most important invention in the history of science. Without this instrument, we would not be able to see and identify very small organisms even though they are just around us. So you are given this directions. You are going to write a message and dedication for all frontliners, especially to the hospital employees, write a thank you message for all of their hard works and sacrifices made in this global health crisis, COVID-19 pandemic. So write your message on separate sheet of paper, then um, send it to me by personal message. So you're given area, content and focus on topic, and grammar and spelling. So you're given 10 points, 7 points, 5 points, and 3 points. Okay, so follow the rubrics. Okay, so let's have the last one. Be ready with your class code 63963. So this is the direction. Choose the best answer from the given choices. Write the letter of your choice on separate of paper, separate sheet of paper, or please K in with our class code 63963. Start with number one. Okay, which focusing knob can be used with low power? It's letter D, it's course adjustment knob. Number two. Okay, time is up. So let's reveal the answer. The correct answer is number or letter B. So we are given three objective lenses. Okay, let's have number three question.
Okay, time is up. Let's reveal the answer. The correct answer is letter A. So this is the place we're going to position the specimen. Okay, number four question. Okay, so let's see the answer. The correct answer is letter B, scanning. This is the first one we're going to use. Okay, number five. Okay, so let's see the answer. The answer for this is, which part of the microscope is used to sharpen the focus of the specimen? It is called the fine adjustment knob. It's letter A. Okay, so let's have cloud time. Okay. Which part of the compound microscope helps in gathering and focusing light rays on the specimen to be viewed? Okay, in your answers, class code 639. Okay, so the correct answer for this is called condenser lens, okay? Number seven, please. Okay, it is called a specimen. Very good. Number eight. Another term for the eyepiece is Okay, the correct answer is ocular or ocular lens. Okay, let's have number nine. The area that can be seen through the eyepiece of the microscope is the blank. Okay, so the correct answer for number nine is called the field of view. Okay, for number ten, adjust the blank under the stage so that a medium amount of light gets through it. What is this?
Okay. The correct answer for this is called diaphragm. Congratulations for those who got it right. Okay. So, if you don't have any question with our discussion, so this is Sir Topper at your service, your grade 7 science teacher, saying good morning and see you with the next lesson. Thank you and good morning.